Yeah, every time we go to the grocery store, we are shelling out some money for this tax. On some of our bills, maybe that just comes out to a few cents, but other times it could be a couple of bucks. So this legislation that has just been introduced, it is a move to possibly eliminate the grocery tax, and that certainly would put more money into people's pockets. So today I did reach out to the North Carolina Department of Revenue to see just how much that 2% grocery tax is putting into coffers. I'm still waiting to hear back a number. The inflation rate, however, is slipping. It sits at 6.5%, but overall food prices are still up. Eggs reaching historic highs, uh, more than doubling in the past year because of the avian flu outbreak, the added cost, putting stress on people in different ways. A senior citizen tells me it's getting harder each and every week, stretching her money, while a Wake County mom says the high cost of eggs is forcing her to switch up what she serves to her kids in the morning. Normally, I would get like three cartons of eggs per month, but now I can only get one carton. I shop every Sunday. I don't leave Walmart without spending $400. And I don't have nearly as what I used to get. So the same lawmaker that introduced this bill is also trying to strengthen our power grid. The legislation that is going to be introduced, we'll have more on that ahead at 530. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.